Hey guys, so today I wanted to touch on something we get asked about a lot, and that is gutter maintenance. So the purpose of gutters is to essentially, when you get a lot of rain, it's gonna divert that rain from the roof into the gutter and through the downspout so that the water goes away from the home so that you don't have to deal with water and condensation getting in the crawl space. Um, that can cause a lot of other issues. Um, we see a lot of issues with gutters. A lot of it's due to maintenance, um, but typically the average gutter is going to slope towards the downspout. So what that does is when you get rain, it'll help the rain flow in the direction it's supposed to flow. Well, if you don't keep your gutters cleaned, a lot of times leaves and other debris will build up in the gutter. And when that happens, it'll cause the gutter to sag. So instead of tilting towards the downspout, it'll sag in spots. So then even if you get your gutters cleaned out, those sagging low areas will start to hold water. And as they hold water, it'll start to pull the gutter away from the house. Um, we see this a lot. It happens very frequently. Um, so it's very good to maintain, clean your gutters. A lot of our clients, you know, get their gutters cleaned out twice a year. Um, depending on where you are, you know, a lot of people can probably get away with getting it done annually, but it just depends on the amount of woods you have. Um, the second thing we see a lot is gutter guards. And people ask me a lot, you know, what gutter guards should I get? Are there gutter guards that actually work? So typically what we have found is there's very, probably one in every 50 gutter guards we see are doing the job that they're intended to do. So the job of the gutter guard is to essentially just keep debris out of the gutter. And you know, in theory, obviously that's a good thing, but the problem with most of them is when you get a lot of rain, that water, there's not enough room for that water to get into the gutter. So what you see when you get big rains is water catapulting over the side because the little holes in the tops of the gutter guards just isn't enough. Um, on the other side, there's gutter helmets, which essentially just have a small little hole in them. Um, and that's to suppose, supposedly to allow the water to get through again. But again, when you get big rain, when you have a large roof, those valleys especially are gonna have so much runoff. It's just nearly impossible. A lot of times it's impossible, even if you don't have gutter guards, to maintain you know, the water flow in the right direction. But if you have them, it just makes it that much more difficult. Um, I live out in the field, as you can see here, this gutter behind me. When we get big rains, I see it very often water catapulting over the side. So another issue that can happen is your gutter is undersized to begin with. So when you get big rains, you'll see that water flowing over the side. Um, but back to the gutter guards, again, it kind of just accentuates this problem. And on the flip side, another thing that sometimes makes it worse is people think, you know, I have gutter guards, I don't need to get my gutters cleaned. Well, it's actually quite the opposite because debris is just gonna build up on top of those gutter guards. Um, and a lot of times if you don't, you know, maintain keeping them cleaned off, then the debris is gonna break down, get inside the gutter guard, and then it'll cause even more problems. Um, so in the past year, year and a half, we've had a couple main cases that I can think of, of clients who had gutter guards, they didn't really get them taken care of. And in one situation, these people had flooding in an upstairs bathroom because somehow a bird had finagled its way into the gutter guard and built a nest blocking the downspout. So that water was just catapulting on the back side of the gutter every time it rained and flooding the bathroom. Um, and then another situation we had with gutter helmets actually is that this in this situation it was pretty wild because we ended up taking the gutter helmets off and there was no no there was nothing in the actual gutter itself so i'm thinking you know this is crazy how did you know how were these not working like they were supposed to well the client told us that when they got big rains the water would just catapult over the side and this was actually just a small rancher but it was still doing that and they were getting flooding in their basement um so it's really really important we see it so much gutter maintenance is just a huge thing if you don't have gutter guards you know keeping them clean once or twice a year is going to prevent most of these issues um and then even if you have them clean it's important just to make sure you're cleaning off the tops of debris and other buildup so that they don't break down and get in the gutter. And then again, if they sit for a while, the gutter is going to start to pull away from the house. The water is going to get behind that gutter. It'll rot fascia boards. It'll cause flooding. Um, in some you know, extreme cases, it'll cause damage to the foundation or just condensation getting under the house, which is, you know, you definitely don't want as that can cause mildew and mold to grow. Um, so again, we see this a lot. I figured I'd just touch on it real quick. Um, if you guys have any other questions about this, feel free to reach out. Our number is 804-397-6195. Thanks for watching.